Though I question sometimes, I still 100% trust CEO Adam, a Harvard grad kicking it with us Canadian basement dwelling apes. He travels more than a politician to meet everyone and make deals along the way. He even bought a gold mine for God's sakes. He's raised billions of dollars for AMC. He's a true legend. So although we all still have questions and concerns when it comes to AMC's future and out of Aram, of course, we all have to realize what he's done this far and hope that as a CEO, he's going to continue to lead the way and create magic for the future. Just a friendly reminder, you can sell it at $10 and then be forced to buy it back at $20, $200, or $2 million. There's no theoretical limit on how high a stock can go. The first way to avoid getting squeezed is to simply avoid shorting. Let's talk a little bit about short selling and how dangerous it can be. So all those short sellers that open shorts against AMC trying to make a quick buck. It might seem like a good idea in the short term, but if the trend rapidly turns in one day, pre-market AMC is up to $40 per share, let's say, and then rampantly goes to $50, $60, $100 per share. What do you think that's going to do for the rest of the market? It's going to cause a buying frenzy. And the short sellers are going to see their account go more and more into the negative until just like this says right here, you could see a $200 share or a $2 million share. There is no theoretical limit on how high a stock can go, which means there's no theoretical limit on how much a short seller could lose. Some of the most informed richest people on the planet work in government and they all know what's going on. Check this out, guys. This is pretty disturbing, but sort of interesting. It says... It never entered the SEC's mind that it was a Ponzi scheme, Madoff said, because of the reputation I had. So because Madoff had such a high status reputation, they never thought that someone like him would be running a Ponzi scheme. But they thought the likelihood of Madoff being a big criminal was probably not that realistic, said Paul Atkins, the former SEC commission. So guys, who is in the market right now doing things that they probably would never imagine they'd be doing anything wrong? Could there be anyone else out there? 